Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the sounds of the new Tablas version 2.0 upgrade. This is a deeply multi-sampled Tablas library with a wide selection of live performance phrases all recorded by Tabla master and jazz percussionist Samir Gupta. So with this version 2.0 upgrade, we really tried to give you a lot of different customizable features as far as not only being able to play in the sounds by just you know, playing them in yourself, but also having the option to really customize the loops uh, reversing them, playing them backwards and forwards, different types of LFO filters and all kinds of stuff. So let's just go ahead and dig in. I'm going to go through the main NKI. There's a loops NKI and there's also 20 custom effects presets that come with the library too. So let's jump in and start checking out this new upgrade. All right, so right now we have the main NKI loaded. So let's go ahead and check out the all drums category and just hear some of the sounds and what the library has. So not only do you have an all drums, there's also a lot of other different categories that you can play around with. So let's go ahead and check out the all bayan. And then you also have a bunch of different articulations and tones separated by the different sounds. So if we have this ka sound, there's ka one, two, and three. So you have this one sound mapped across the keyboard so you can get these kind of So you can see how it's one note stretched uh, all the way down and all the way up so you can get a little bit more musical with it. And then let's just go ahead and play through some of the other sounds. And this is the all tablas category. So with some of the different tabla sounds, we also have them mapped out to where you have the single note spread all the way down and all the way up. And what's cool about this is you can kind of get some more uh, tuned percussion, melodic sounds out of this. So if you wanna... For creating sort of uh, percussion type melodies and that sort of thing. And then you have the all combo. So with the GUI, you also have the option of being able to layer sounds too. So if let's say if you go to layer two and you wanna have the all tablas here and then on layer one, you wanna have the all drums, you can do that and see how that sounds. So for the all tablas, of course, the range is limited. So if let's say you wanted to take this sound, like a more stretched across sound, and then you want to layer it with the all drums, you can do that too, so you have a little bit more. So more of like a melodic 
type articulation on top of some other percussive stuff so you can get some different random things. And then if you want on top of that, you can go ahead into the advanced tab and just add in some different grooves. For libraries like this, this is a really powerful feature. So if let's say we want to and then go into layer two, see what happens. So let's see. So maybe let's try a different. So you can get some really cool interplay between the different rhythms. This library also comes with 20 sound design ambiences, pads, and drones to play around with. So let's go ahead and check out some of those. And with the X fade slider, you have the option of being able to crossfade between different layers. So if let's say we want to go ahead and load up layers one and two again, and we got this kind of. So let's say we want to take those layers one and two, the more percussive sounds, and we want to set those and we'll just leave them on none because when they're on none, that means it's always going to be playing. So if let's say we want to swell in an ambience, we can go ahead and set that to layer B right click, learn MIDI CC, and then uh, that's it. That's all you really have to do. So it's a really quick way to kind of get the most out of just one NKI. So it's a pretty cool feature and I definitely recommend experimenting with it. And then you also have the sub-synth layer, which allows you to add some different sine waves, saw waves, square waves, uh, some various pink noise, white noise, brown noise, and that sort of thing. So this library comes with 20 custom sound design effects presets to play around with. These are all using the different features within the library. So let's go ahead and check some of those out.
For any of you who are familiar with Rhythmic Odyssey, you'll see that there's a lot of similarities in this GUI. So you have these different slots which have the different loops. So if we just go ahead and play around with that. So not only can you just play around with the different loops, you can load in different ones of your choosing. So if let's say you go to slot one, open up the loop bank uh, loop browser. You can go ahead and just preview different ones by command clicking. So if let's say you like this one, you can select it and then play it in. Let's say you want to turn up the volume, you can go ahead and alt click and just drag that up. Now this is where things get really interesting. So let's say we want to go ahead and play around with the panning. So we want to sort of have different hits kind of playing around within the stereo field. You can do that. And if you want, you could do a really quick adjustment of that. So you just go ahead and click this little pencil icon and just kind of draw in a bunch of random stuff. Uh, then you can go into the pitch and you can draw in a bunch of random stuff as well. Just go ahead and just get crazy with it. This is just kind of a real random thing. And then let's just go ahead and see how that sounds. So by playing around with the pitch and the panning, you get a little bit more interesting stuff going on between the stereo field and then the pitch can kind of almost give it like a melodic aspect to it. So, so certain hits are kind of going up and down in pitch, so kind of makes it a little bit more uh, interesting melodically. And then let's say you want to go ahead and add some effects, let's say let's add some, some delay. And then we want to play around with the reverb. Now, some other things you can do is you can take some of these sounds and you can play them in reverse. So this is really cool. So if you want that kind of weird trippy feel, you can do that. And then you can also adjust how the different slice order is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back to forward. Now we can take this loop and play it instead of from beginning to end, we can go from the end to the beginning. Or we can go ahead and set it to random. So it's just going to play around within the different slices. So depending on the loops that you choose, you might not get the most desired effect, but it definitely is cool having that option. And another thing that you can do if you want to just, um, you know, start a loop in a different spot, you can use these green keys and that allows you to start the different uh, loops in a different spot. So if let's say we start on the first one, or we can start up here. So by having that option, you can really take these loops and kind of make them your own and pick and choose the different spots that you like the most. So it doesn't always have to be the same loop, which really gives you a lot more customization and different ways that you can take these loops and like I said, make them your own. So it's definitely a really cool feature. And then you can use that on top of the reverse. You can do that. So that's cool. And then another thing you can do is you can play around with the timings. And you want to double time it a little bit. Make the guy play a little bit harder than, than he normally would. Or you can do half time. So depending on the BPM, if it's really fast and you half time it, it's going to sound a little bit stretched because you're taking it and you're just you're taking these really fast uh, loops and then you're really stretching them. So be aware of that. 
Um, I normally like to just have it sync and try to maybe keep my BPM and my DAW sort of in a similar area so it's not too far off. Double timing, it's not really as bad, but when you have time it and you're stretching it really far, it can get a little bit weird. So definitely be mindful of that. And if let's say you wanna go ahead and just start from a clean slate, uh, one of the things you can do is you can control click or you can just kind of alt click and get everything to a specific spot. And if you alt click and go up and down, you can just kind of adjust it like that. So that's a, that's a really cool way of doing that. So if all your panning is kind of just all over the place, what you can do is you can command click, get it to a default state and then alt click and then they'll all be the same. So uh, that's another cool way of doing that. Another thing I wanna mention before wrapping up this video is you also have some different effects at the bottom. So if let's say we have this loop. So let's say maybe you wanna add some lo-fi sounding effects to it. You can go ahead and click on it to see the different sounds. If you want, you can actually swap these out too. And then to enable it, just hit this little icon till it lights up. So definitely have fun exploring all the different effects and sound design possibilities that come with this library to get some really interesting sound design ideas and really try to craft the sounds that you hear in your head. All right, so that about wraps it up for this walkthrough of Tablas version 2.0 upgrade. If you wanna learn more about this library or upgrade if you're a current owner, go to soundiron.com to learn more. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.